We just made the biggest, easiest Glowforge farmhouse sign that we've made so far. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, we're building the easiest, biggest Glowforge farmhouse sign that we have made yet. <laughs> well, I came across these boards in the store. I think we were at Lowe's. We got these at Lowe's. Weathered wood decorative wall planks. So these are not shiplap and they are not barn wood. They're two different boxes. They are its own thing. Yep, they're decorative wall planks. And what I thought about these, I see how they're already painted and they're just flat boards. They didn't have the shiplap sides. And I thought to myself, I think these would make a really cool farmhouse sign. But then, once I got them here, I noticed that they're pretty thin. I don't know if you can see that. They're 5 sixteenths. They look like a quarter inch, but they're just yeah. slightly bigger. A little bigger. So then I was thinking, could we put this in the Glowforge and do something cool with it with the Glowforge? And so we've come up with a project today that I think would be cool. We I can think do, it's cool. Yeah, we can use the Glowforge to do something different. Kind of make a project, a farmhouse sign, but make it easy and then yeah, make it cool. the easiest. Yeah, I mean, I mean really easy. Yeah. I think this is gonna be a relatively quick project. I wanna cut some letters out and then score this so we'll have perfect placement. Yes. Perfect. That's what the Glowforge is gonna give us, the ability to not have to figure out where the placement is. Now, I know you're probably thinking, as we did originally, you can cut your letters out on a board and then the, the cutout would be your perfect placement. And it works pretty well but the problem with that method is if you leave it down and place your leathers if you pick it back up again especially with a bunch of little letters they pop up and they make a mess or you can glue it in the frame which Garrett was like <laughs> you glue it in the frame but then the frame gets glued down a little to your seeped piece. out <laughs> I glued the frame to the piece so this is what I think is a, a third alternative that I think is going to make it even easier I think so too <laughs> Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. Well, we needed the planks because that's the whole reason for the project. Now I will say these do come in 48 inch lengths. Looks like four of them at 48. And then a you couple, us. yeah, these were hidden on the inside. I didn't read the box clearly. So I thought I'd let you know. There are a couple of others Some in varying lengths. Like 18 inches and 24 inches, I guess. Something like that. Something like that. Then we needed some quarter inch MDF. F two sheets of 12 by 20. We needed some black paint, some masking tape, some little 5 8 inch brad nails. Or if you don't have brad, you can use this uh, traditional Gorilla Glue and oh. clamp them together. Yeah, so that will hold too. It will, it will definitely hold. Step two, we're gonna make our design. I'm gonna mock something up in Illustrator, test it out with Kim and yep. then we'll make it a real thing. Yeah, this one's gonna say family. It's gonna be a family sign. We did one once before that said it's good to be home, yeah. but this one I wanted to say family, so I did look for something a little sassy to say. I thought that would be funny, but I couldn't find one I really liked, so we're going with traditional. Something traditional, something safe. <laughs> yes, yeah, safe. Before I start designing, I wanna get the actual measurements. I mean, I know it says that they're five by five or 5.5, .5, but I don't believe it. And there's a good reason. Three of them is only 14.75. Seven five. So I'll have to remember that. And it's only like 47 inches, so. <laughs> All right, well, close it up. Okay, we're in Illustrator. The first thing I'm gonna do is set up my artboard so that it is the size of our boards. So it was 48 wide and it was 14 point, oops, 14.75 tall. All right, next I'm gonna put my words in there. It is family. We'll make it big so we can read it. I'm gonna hold shift and drag one of the anchor points out so it stays uniform. I'm going to copy, control C, paste, control V. 
this is all lowercase and it's everything else can wait all right that's big hold shift grab and grab an anchor point shrink it shrink it some more all right now i have the fonts that kim would like to use this one is a source code variable. Let's try this source code variable. Regular. All right, and everything else can wait is Lucida. Lucida Bright. All right. Let's put a border on this so I'll know where we're here, where we're at. So I'm going to add a layer. New layer. I'm not gonna name it. Let's draw a little box. Let's make it red. And we're gonna make it 1.25 inches wide and 14 inches tall. Let's my layers. Cut and paste. Cut and paste. Hold shift, grab an anchor point. Boom, boom. Goes on its 45. Copy, paste. Get one at the bottom. All right. I'm going to add a stroke. Nope, I'm not. That looks fine. So I'm going to create outlines. This makes it cuttable. And then I'm going to unite everything so that they're all one. You see how the A has two pieces to it? We'll unite it so it's all one. Make it a little bit bigger. Make it a little bit bigger. All right. I'll make this one a little bit smaller. Just making it fit in there. All right, I want the same spacing between the bottom of the words and the next word. So paste one more. I'm gonna add a stroke to this to make it a little bit thicker. So I'll make a black stroke. I'm really worried about that eye. That Y. All right, I think that's thick enough with three points. One more. Four. We'll leave it at four. Looks good. Looks good at four. I'm worried about this Y. Make sure it cuts and doesn't just burn up. All right, let's shrink it just a smidge. We'll really widen the spacing on this. Space these letters way out, like way out. 300. Nah. Still too close. We'll go 400. Let's go 500. That's what I'm talking about. That's looking good. Alright, let's center everything. Alright, I think that looks good. Let's go ahead and hide the border. Alright, looks good. We'll create outlines. I remember we gave this a stroke, so let's go over here, object, path, outline, stroke, and then we're gonna unite it all, bam. Now to make sure that I have it all lined up on the board, I'm gonna draw a rectangle around this thing. And I'm gonna make this rectangle, no fill, give it a stroke of blue. Making sure everything in here is grouped. Group these. Everything in here is grouped. Alright, I'm going to select everything. Oh, let's make sure these two are grouped. Square this guy. Group. Select the outline. Let's make this outline so we can see it. Gonna select the outline and all the words. We're gonna align them center and align them middle. All right, let's export this and get ready to. <clears throat> let's export this as our score files. Export as. All right, now let's get a cut file together. So first, I'm going to delete this outline 
That way it's not stuck inside the outline inside Glowforge. Now I'm going to group all of these so that they're easy to cut on just two boards. Step three, we're going to make all of our cuts. First, we're gonna cut these boards down, these little shorties that came in there, there's little extras hidden in the box. We're gonna cut these little shorties down to 14 and a half inches. They're gonna be the braces for the back of this thing. So to keep these three boards held together, we're gonna attach this to the back and use this as the brace. Now we could use like a one by two, um, but I don't think we need to. I think I can get all of this out of one box of wood. Yeah. Uh, that box was $20, 1996 or something. So That's not bad. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And we'll have a little extra, almost enough to make another sign. Then I'm gonna take the MDF over, throw it in the Glowforge, and cut out the letters. Make it pop. <laughs> then I'm gonna make all the cuts for these little guys with my little guy, <laughs> my pocket saw. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 14 and a half. Safety first, Garrett. Safety first, Garrett. To the Glowforge. <laughs> I always wanted to say that like Batman. <laughs> I just imported the SVG that we made that had no frame so that we're able to move the letters around. I'm using quarter inch MDF, so I'm going to use the thick draft board settings. I'm gonna set these both to cut. I'm gonna move these letters around a little bit, make sure they fit the best on the board, and then I'm gonna go hit print. Okay. Step four, and now we score. Yes. <laughs> well, we're gonna score the board now. But to score these boards, since the design goes across all three, yes. we're gonna tape them together. We're gonna see if this works together. Oh, okay. okay. Perfect. Push that together. I think it's gonna go long ways. Oh, interesting. Okay. All right, looks good. Looks pretty tight. Yeah. I don't think we're gonna get it any tighter when we put the backers on. Last minute change of plans. <laughs> We're gonna mask the front so we don't get any of the charring when we are uh, scoring. Again, they're pre-painted, so I don't want to, well, they're primed really, but I think this is a, a perfect look, so I don't really wanna have to paint them again. Going with that easiest thing. It's only about two inches from the top of the masking tape to the board now. So I'll just use a little blue tape. Are you gonna go over just a little bit? No. Don't touch overlap. It touch yeah. it. Just touch it. I'm sliding the boards in from the back because the designs start at the bottom. Oh yeah, you have some of those paints? Yes. Yeah. And if you have your four ounce country chic paints, they're a perfect holder for your material. <laughs> <laughs> See, pretty, I'm just saying. They're pretty close to the perfect height. Yeah. I think that's it. I think that's all we need. And then I'm gonna add some of these little wooden hold down pins so that I know I'm pushing it through straight. They just go right into the uh, honeycomb. The honeycomb board. Should be sliding it straight on through. All right, back to Glowforge to line it up. I imported the SVG that we made with the frame on it. I'm gonna enable the pass through, and then I'm gonna pick like a basswood. I want the hardwood basswood medium. Now let's line it up on the board. I'm gonna use that frame to kind of make sure it's in the middle, all lined up. I'm gonna use the bottom. 
let's make sure we ignore the frame and we score the words. We'll just use draft. All right, let's get ready to print. Now I'm just gonna push the material through about eight inches. Now we paint. Uh, this stuff's already painted, so that's a jam. I yep. love that. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna roll the letters with some country chic paint. Old one coat wonder. <laughs> well, sometimes. <clears throat> this did not get, so we're using this quarter inch MDF. Well, I kind of made a mess there. Oh, making a mess. I'll clean that up. We did not. Mask it. Yes. But we're using black paint, so it doesn't really matter. You're not going to see it. And I was going to say you can leave it in the frame even. Oh, you think so? Because it's black paint, and I don't care if it oozes down just a little bit. You're not going to oh. see it because of the charred size. All right. You leave yours in the frame. I'll take mine out, and we'll see how they do. All right. All we'll right. be able to do a comparison mm -hmm. side by side. But if you didn't mask and you did need to get some of the char off, it will sand off beautifully. Yeah, I think we're gonna go one coat. Not too thick, Rick. Whoa, whoa, who's Rick? <laughs> <laughs> And now we assemble it. We're just gonna flip it over, use a little bit of Gorilla Glue, a little bit of Gorilla Glue, yes. and then a 5 8 inch brad nail. Little tiny guys, little tiny guys. All right, I think we have to slide this or it's gonna... Okay, I can lift this piece. There we go. I guess this turned out to kind of be a waste if we were masking it. Well, we learned something. Probably only need to mask the front. Boop. Well, why is mine so difficult over here? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. All right, here, let's start at the same time. Uh, okay. Oh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Okay. All right, ready? Boop. <laughs> Now I feel like I'm wasting all of this. I know. What can I do with it? I know, it's a waste. All right, where do we want these? Yeah, about right there, where you might put a hand. So like or something. a hand, a hand in. Okay. Well, my hand. All right, let's give it a little bit of Gorilla Glue. Okay. Put it on, no, 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 no. You don't want it to accidentally get between these cracks or it'll ooze right through and make a mess. So put a little here, 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 and then put it on. Now I'm just gonna hit it with a 5 8 inch brad. The nail, not the guy. Ooh, right through the heart. And remember, if you didn't have your own bread nailer, Brad nailer. Five eighths is too big. Yeah. Too much pressure. It sunk deep in there. All right. Can you just back that pressure down a lot? Probably should have done a test nail. This thing. Which way are you turning it? I turned it left. Went through a lot. I'm gonna flip it over. All right, maybe we don't use. I'll hit it here. I'll hit it here. I hit it up here. I hit this E. Oh. Got it. Okay, <clears throat> he nailed from front to back so that we could put the letters over it should hide the nails. It did kind of go through to the table. Hmm. Again, 
You don't need to use bread, a little clamp, a little glue, and that's really all you need for this because it's so thin. It's not going to be very heavy at all. We'll tap them back through. Okay. You want to tap it through now? Yeah. Where's the hammer? Over on our little cart over there. Just going to tap the nails back through so we can't see them. <laughs> oh, look at that. You won't even see it. Now, let me ask you. What? So it didn't come back through these that came. Yeah, I think the pressure on Brad was a bit too high. This wood is super like thin. Yeah, it's real wood, but it's very soft. There you go. Perfect. Now it does. Now it's not through either side. Okay. Great. We're good. We're good. You want to remove this and we'll start. Yep, now we'll just take the off letters. the masking tape and. Now we're going to glue all of the letters down using this star bond thick. It's like super, super glue. And I think the big letters will help keep it all together. Keep it all together. We're just going to run it down the oh. inside. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wow, you're like Hercules over there. All right, what do you think? I mean, I think it was super easy. It was I, super fast. This I was such a quick project. All we yeah. had to do was assemble these boards, Cut this. The longest part was lining it up in the glow forge for the yeah, pass through. Waiting for the glow forge to do its thing. Yeah, but all, all I had alignment. to do was sit around and wait for it to. Yeah, I, yeah. I think it might have taken a little longer, but I'm pretty sure everything's lined up perfect. Like perfect placement. I didn't have to worry. I didn't have to get the ruler out and check each letter. It no took me thanks. no time to paint these letters in black. Like I said, this was already painted. And the great thing about already using these. It's kind of distressed. Yeah, and it's distressed, exactly. Yeah. And the great thing about using these boards is it's super light. Super I can't, light. Like, I wish I could show you how light so it is. So light. Like. So if I were using uh, one by fours or one by fives, this would be pretty heavy. It would be like three times as heavy, easily like three times as heavy. Because it'd be three times as thick. Yeah. I like it. I enjoy using it to score it. I think we can do other things where we use uh, yeah, wood. Yeah, just a new tip for you today. Yeah. Just if you have a glow forge and you hadn't thought about doing this with it, this is another. This is another thing you can do with it. Yeah. You don't have to cut the wood. You could just score big wood. <laughs> Scoring the big woods. <laughs> All right. Big thank you to our patrons, and we are about out of time. So. If you're not gonna join us for the patron after show, we will see you next week, or we'll do it, build it, and make it again. And now I'll do the official balance. Oh, the, <laughs> this is the official. Last one was just showing how late it is. You don't trust me by now? You still don't trust my balance? Well, I don't want you to break it. We literally just finished it. Yeah, look at that. Comes back down to earth. Peach keen.